schizophrenic, arsonists and petty criminal lowlife have been removed from this video. Subsequently, blurring and voice blanking has had to be used, resulting in some awkward edits. We've carefully edited this so it doesn't diminish your viewing pleasure. RAF Morton in the Marsh was a Royal Air Force station near Morton in the Marsh, Gloucestershire. It was opened in November 1940 and closed for operational flying in early 1948. The base remained in use as a relief runway and for training. After a period of care and maintenance, the station was handed over to the Home Office in 1955. The town's environs are quite flat and low-lying, although it is situated at the northern extremity of the Cotswold Hills range. During World War II, a large area of this flat land to the east of the town was developed as an airfield and became the base of 21 OTU, Operational Training Unit, for the RAF, flying mainly Vickers Wellington bombers. It is highly likely that the airfield inspired the title of the radio show, Much Binding in the Marsh. Today, the airfield is used by the fire service as a training centre and fire crews from all over the United Kingdom and indeed the world travel to the UK to visit Morton in the Marsh to gain advanced firefighting training skills. Right, so we're here, tucked away, country lane, and we're, uh, we're, we're hiding the number plates. Here we Carl from Dark Arts Paranormal. Smash that like button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. I thought they said there was a hole in the fence. Oh, I see. There is. Uh, I thought we were going over that Barbie bit then. Never did like Barbie. <laughs> and Sam and Jess. Right, can I hand this um, to you? It's a bit easier. It's filming, so just keep it pointed at us, that'd be great. Sure. <laughs> Oh, that's all. I was going to rest that on top then. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I just got caught by a thistle. Bugger. It's like amazing, you jump over a fence and then that thing gets you. It's quite easy, that. Carl will show us how. <laughs> oh shit, oh, maybe I won't. <laughs> Especially, yeah. Ah, you best just, just just jump it. It's so small. <laughs> Three, two, one. Jump <laughs> <laughs> Pull my shoulder. Oh no! <laughs> of course, it is. Do you want a band aid? Right. Like so where are we going to go, then? Come on. <laughs> right, so here we go. Proper fire training fun for all the family. <laughs> well, what can we do now, mate? Probably one street guard, there's seven of us. Okay, so we've got, we've got quite a few people with us, so we'll see whether we get sussed. But I don't think we will. I think we'll be all right. 
We should all walk in one line. So from a profile then, this is one person. Yeah. Yeah, all walk in one line. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely the way to go. Look, we become one. Yeah, we we be, we. Yeah, we become one, one group, one line. That's that's the danger zone. That's where we don't want anyone to see us from. But, uh, yeah. Me. Oh my god. It's done. He's here, don't start. No. Yeah. That's what done. It's got a fuel fuel truck. Mini bus. All locked up. Scooter motorbike on the side of the road. Does that even still work? Fuck off. It's got another bit, it's definitely better. Go on, pick it up, see if you get a dial tone. No. No. No, it's not connected underneath, is it? I remember I remember years ago I came up to one of these and and I had a set of um Allen keys and we were able to undo it and behind there there's actually a telephone keypad. And we were making calls to the United States like that, right? And calling just random numbers in the US <laughs> ring. So you can make you you know, if you can get into the telephone wire of that down there, Bob's your uncle. So this looks like a boat mock-up. So we're going to see if we can get in the boat now. And the other side is is not, uh, it hasn't got water like this side's got water. The other side's got a walkway up. So we'll see whether it's open or not. I met, I met, a, I met a German policeman who literally did that at a, at a pub near us. He sort of came up to the edge of the canal, looked left, looked right, and then drove into the canal. <laughs> Crazy. And he's a firearms officer in Germany as well. Like, can you imagine? It's like, it's not too bad. A couple of feet. There's a, there's a, there's a good foot or so of um, gunk at the bottom. Anything open? Wow. We've got some open stuff, but I'm gonna have to get a torch out now. Right. Oh, this is where preparation would have been handy. See me get my torch out. Oh, come on, baby. You can smell the smoke in here. Oh, it's got lights on. What? Wow, it's just like absolute black. Whoa. It's black of black of black. The walls are black. The only thing that's on is the lights. Whoa. You see people, but they just disappear into black. So they obviously put fires in these baskets. And that's probably what that... Uh, Hay is over there. That hay is to uh, uh. it's really 
really hard to see any details. It's really hard to see any details. I got my, my torches on full blast and I'm just not picking anything up. So I hope the rest of this place is not going to be like this because it's like you can't see anything. It's just like full. Right of a doorway. I didn't even know there was a door there. Oh, I see. It's a it's a ladder. It's a ladder to the surface. Right. Okay. And to the roof. Yeah. Goes all the way up, does it? Yeah. Is it worth climbing? Um. Go to the roof. So I the roof, I guess. Okay. Mm hmm Everyone will notice now that I'm able to film. <laughs> With two hands. So you've got like a little room in you. Yeah. What's that then? Another room? Just another room like just another room. It does go that way though as well, but don't go very. The roof if you want. Yeah, okay. Yeah, door there, So yeah, we've got to make sure we're not spotted, but we are up here now. Yes, yeah, interesting place. And this is set out like a boat. Let's have a quick look. Concrete boat. There's more people coming out of the exit way. Safety helmets must be worn. Danger restricted area. Whoa, they got they got all the uh, fire and safety services. L and G Marine. Fire and safety services. I don't know whether these are the uh, these are the bottles they would use for um, fire suppression. It's a fire suppression system. Good stuff. Oh my god, lights are on as well. They keep the lights on. Oh, you should have went down. So, they've got doors leading to cabins full of smoke cabin full of smoke whoa stairs stairs it's like just completely completely uh, covered in smoke it stinks of smoke Oh, there's um, there's more steps going up here. Wow. Yeah, it's like a 
chart plotting room chart plotting so here we go got radar radar console we got look out the window where's that oh yeah oh my god I missed that it's dead owl oh baby the real death. For real? Is it real? Yeah. Yeah, it's dead. Seen the dead owl? Yeah, I know, yeah. That's a bit bad. Your light's on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Tween deck. My light's on as well. Do, do you see the owl in there? Yeah, see that owl? No, it's not in his head. Oh. No. Is it dead? Do you think it's dead? No. Oh, no. Port, run, stop. God. Tilbury, Tilbury Doss, oh, yeah. Essex. Yeah, I know. Pretty basic ship though, isn't it? Concrete ships they just weren't made, meant to float in the lake, <laughs> but... Oh, equipment. Hydraulics. Server console. Special buttons. Zone 1 fire. Zone 2 fire, Zone 3 fire, Zone 4 fire. Mm. Oh, shame about the owl. Uh. Right, this is an EPIRB, so that's an, a device for locating, if you've, um, it'll pick up the Jeep, yeah, he can see us, yeah, so to be careful, yeah, over there, right, okay, so have to be careful, but I just want to show you the, uh, let me show you what this, the back of this ship looks like, so, Climb up onto the uh, the roof up there, but it's probably not a good idea because we might be spotted. So best thing is just stay back here. Oh, sorry. Best thing is just stay back here. Yeah. <laughs> Sneaking around. I don't know if this is supposed to be a radar dome or something. Okay. Ray dome, yeah. Flyer as well. No, it's an EPIRB. It's um, uh, if you go missing you put that out and it tells them the gps location and it beeps out a 406 means the frequency it transmits on 406 megahertz it's an international distress frequency oh so basically you throw this out if the ship's on its way down basically and then people yeah. know where you are yeah that's right ah. and so they can they can fly over in an aircraft quite high and then they can just pick it up beep 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 you know sort of floating around yeah oh, <laughs> I like the uh, the walkway down. You trust it. You trust the technology of the fire service for this not to fall off. This edge bit that goes out. Ooh, sketchy. Sketchy edge bit. Yeah, literally off the edge. 
gap. So we're up here about seven o'clock, so it seems like a sweet spot for nobody being around. That's the, uh, the water bit that we came up earlier on. So quite interesting. Yeah, there's yeah. What? Is there someone there? Is there someone there? No, it's just a car. Is there somebody there? Is that where that truck look? Red lights, nothing in there. Is that part of the site there or not? Don't know. Yeah, but don't know where Matt's there. Don't know where that camera is. That part of the site there is walking that way. I think the fence might just end there. Yeah. Well, it might be somebody belonging I to the site, though. Walk that way, so Perhaps it's for sending smoke, sm sending yeah, smoke somewhere. Smoke detector. All right. What's that on? Pipes. Yeah. Hmm. It pulls air in from various parts yeah, of the yeah, ship yeah, and yeah. detects uh, detects smoke. Just goes to show though, there's power on in the place. I right, just go down now. Yeah. It's just like they're not going to know which way to come down if unless they come. It's a bit sketchy. Oh my god, what the fuck are you doing here, Matt? Please, you're not going down that way. It's all right. You have to you have to go down the ladders then. Safe. It is safe. Look at this. My hands are dirty though. <laughs> oh no. Realistically, the, the safe way to do this is you're supposed to do it backwards. You're supposed to do it backwards. It's like something out of the crystal maze, except darker. Do 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 <laughs> Crystal maze. Do, 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 do. No, 
Debs, where are you? That's in it, yeah. And you go, I'm coming. <laughs> Somebody's been a bit artistic. They've made a Lego, made a, like a Lego, Lego ship engine, look. Modeled on Lego pieces. Oh, watch your head, yeah? Low. It's just a little room, doesn't go anywhere. So, it's a proper maze, this, isn't it? It reminds me of the uh, Salisbury Plain training area. It's like a little bit of a maze there. Oh, here we go. It's Jess. Hey. Jess is not put off by the, the madness. madness. Jess lives on... She, she's fueled by madness. She eats madness for breakfast. <laughs> I think it's time for my gloves. I'll let somebody else go through whilst I get my gloves on. My hands are getting like proper, proper mashed up. Do you want to go through? I've got my green goblin gloves here. Alright. Yeah, so I've got my green goblin gloves, so I'm okay, I'm good to go now. <laughs> Bend over. Watch one's head. This is like, uh, this is like Salisbury Plain, this is. Salisbury Plain training area. So we'll have the we'll have the Sol we'll have the fire police coming out to my house and be like, "Don't you ever come back to our place again?" I've had the military police come around my house for something similar to this. Now it'll be the fire brigade police. I don't know. They tried to find another way out. I think. Yeah. So you've got the uh, ship and some water, look. Well, named June 1972 by Sir Henry Martin Smith, CBE, Her Majesty's Chief Inspector of Fire Services, 1948 to 1972. Mm. Play music. Oh yeah, it says up there, it says Sir Henry. Let's have a look at the control tower first, yeah. just in case we get caught. Get the best parts done. Let's go. That looks like tunnels. That looks like tunnels. Yeah. She's having a look. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, Please, we can. Without being caught. So we've got quite an area where we can be seen from that bit, all the way over to that bit. See the theme here is going to be like choke you out smoke and uh, quite stinky. like an office block. Simulated office block. 
So we're gonna have a quick look around. It's funny how all the stuff is just like open. But you've got steps here to take you up to the roof. So we could uh, we could get up there. Do you think it's worth it? What's this goods only look? It looks like a lift. Oh my god, it works. It's a proper lift. Do you want to go in it? We send you up. You love it's still working. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. So we're going to send. Do you want to go in it? Well, you find it stuck in the app here. Right. Which boy? Isn't, isn't somebody else going to go in with him? Yeah, Jess? Jess? Go on, Jess. <laughs> go on, Jess. <laughs> she eats madness. She eats madness. She eats madness. <laughs> she eats madness, look. That's it. Hop on. That's the last time you've seen uh, your girlfriend, mate. Yeah. It takes a while to get to the top as well. <laughs> Should we go up there and meet him? We are literally going to beat him to the top. <laughs> oh my god, this is high. Oh, there's... <laughs> we beat him to the top. Here we go. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Open it then. <laughs> yeah. That was a great ride. <laughs> oh my god. Is there anywhere to go in this building then or? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Stairs, proper stairs, look. Stairs down. Oh, and another stairs. Oh, there's more stairs to the roof as well. There's stairs to the roof over here. So you don't seem to be listening to me, so I shall just come on up. See if we can get out. It's very hot in here. Oh, stairs to the roof. view now some of the base so there's the ship over there Let's see if we can see him so there's the ship there's some other stuff we got some cars dumped down there 
and uh, yeah. Way up. Come on. Come on. <laughs> they, they're managing to use a. Uh, they've got like remote controls. Remote controls here for taking things up and down. It's funny. We got a we got a body in the corner. Look, body in the corner. <sighs> so dark, you could easily trip here. Yeah. Somebody will push the button first, won't they? Yeah. We're gonna give it a go. Get in the lift. I'll run it down I won't walk down the stairs, but we've got bastards. Right. Down. Yeah. Are you coming in cut us up? No, I'm a girl. Five hundred kilograms, yeah, fine. <laughs> What's it say? 500 kilograms? Yeah, we're less than that. Right. See you in a bit. Have fun. Yeah, if you turn that one off, because that's just, isn't it? It flashes. That's that's better, yeah. Cheers, mate. If it's like a strobe scope. Yeah, go, go for it. See ya. Yep. <laughs> Proper slow. It's weird. I feel better inside a lift, enclosed, even though we're up to height. I feel height. safer on top of that. Uh, he feels safer on top of it. <laughs> I feel safer inside it because when I'm looking off the edge of the building, I have vertigo. But if I'm in a lift, I just shut off. I just so like yeah, yeah. I don't feel so bad. Do we get out to the other side? Yes. All yeah, right. I've got doors this side now. Yeah. Doors that's the one I got in. People are not meant to be in this lift, so the fire service probably wouldn't allow their own people to use this lift. No. <laughs> yeah, we're here now. Because they're directly there. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it, being able to see out of a lift? You can't do that much anymore. It's all like, you know, not allowed to sort of see the uh, the workings anymore. Unless it's a glass lift. Yeah, that's cool. Here we come. <laughs> you gotta lift that thing up, lift lift it up. From the outside. It'll be like that. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Cat surfer. Why? <laughs> Hey, what's going on up there? Yeah, we're on the cheese rock. Find out. Oh, alright. Yeah, control tab is the one. 
That's the oil rig simulator. What do you reckon so far then? Yeah. Quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Quite funky. I never thought they'd leave the power on and lifts and things like that still <laughs> yeah. going. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Craft on its side simulator. But there's quite a bit they still haven't locked up though, so we might be in luck. Do you reckon you can get in through that window into the... There's an open window there, look. Do you reckon you can get back into this building through that open window? Oh, nice. See if you, see if you can just walk through. Yeah. No. Okay, so you reckon this might be open up here then? I flipping hope so. Nope, so. Oh. oh, nice. Oh shit, I thought it was locked then. I thought this was. Is it? Oh no, yes, we're lucky. Oh my god. How lucky is that? Is that? Yeah. Good stuff. Firemen. Firemen. Do not remove breathing apparatus from the site. Oh look, there's a little, uh, there's a little old lift by here, look. Yeah. Old lift. Yeah. He knows, yeah. God, what's this, like a commando television set? Commando. Commando television set. Wonder why this um, building is such a mess. If it's, it's maybe just used. Oh look, there's a dead pheasant. Oh, Hmm. No unauthorized access to this building that we're in here. Okay, well, let's go up the stairs then. It's control tower stairs. Or is it? No, it's just like, oh, there we are, control tower. I can see a door. So you walk up here, 
and then you go into another another set of stairs control tower so here's the control tower smaller stairs quite piddly stairs so why does it say you can't come in here no unauthorized entry what's in here what's equipment on in here there's equipment on. Home office equipment, look, home office approved equipment. Whoa, old school. Power off, power on. Old-fashioned radio equipment. Wow. And there's um, battery packs, battery backup packs, and Tetra node. What this is then? High Tira. These are digital um, repeaters. And it says repeater, emergency repeater, repeater two, repeater three. So digital repeaters, and these are power supplies for the digital repeaters. So these are in here, look. So yeah, I wonder what frequency it's on. I wonder what frequency, I'm not gonna push any buttons because it, it might freak it out. But yeah, they use this as the um, repeater station for the whole building, so yeah. Old fashioned uh, radio equipment. Really old, look, home office stamps. Like, you know, from good old, uh, good old days, look, home office. Yep. Water container. Water. Not another owl. I don't know. But as soon as you hit that button, just picked up the phone and instantly it will start beeping. <laughs> there should be a silence alarm button in there somewhere. Have a look for a silence alarm button. Try it all then. Yeah, there press, press to cancel. Silence alarm button. Just push that one by there. Breathing mask thing. These are like uh, military ones, aren't they? Military breathers. And this is a uh, home office. Home office radio, look. <laughs> wow. So yeah, we're in a control tower. Hot though. It's very hot. Oof. It's in control tower, you really can't see very much out of that side. Got the guts of the radios in here. So get on the roof. That'd be good. So the backs of some of these uh, home office radios. That's the back of the home office radio there. It's like old-fashioned uh, ones they have in police cars and stuff like that. UHF and VHF. Here's the view out onto the base. Whoa. Oh, 
well. Uh, the old lights and stuff. Mm. Gosh, better. Yeah. Scary height. Scary height. And we're out onto the uh, the veranda. <laughs> Hope this was uh, certified as safe for people to walk on. A bit late now if it's not. So, here we go. Nice, uh, nice little drop right off the edge, look. Ka ching ka ching. Bit evil, that, isn't it? Yeah. Control towers. They got some control towers like at Heathrow, and they're like about three times as high as this. It's like what? We got people in there. Look, Natalie and Carl. I mean, look at uh, stuff going on in there. It's good, good, yeah. Though. I like it. We'll probably have to go back through that to get out. I expect. Hmm. I'm just saying now that's sort of where we. We got in over there. That window. I'm sure they'll be locking that pretty soon after my video hits the internet. Uh, they've had, you know, they've had Matty, and they'll have Carl, and then I'll be it. We have knocks on our door in the middle of the night. So that's locked. Then please keep this door shut. We climb up that ladder. Yeah. Codes. Well. What you can see on the left hand side, right, this is off a calculating machine. This is the column number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It goes at, you know, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, jumps to 36, so for some reason. But then these are the numbers, so 99.9 .9 plus 12.9 .9 plus 312.3, and then it would total down at the end. So you'd have a total, but it's, it's, random, it's, a, bit, it's a bit random, yeah. <laughs> Conan. So those are the VHF antennas and these are the UHF ones. Uh, difference in size for the frequencies involved. No. <laughs> So we're up on the control tower roof, which is quite nice. Where? Mm, it's probably a dumped training van, isn't it? Training stuff. Nice up here. Monsignor Carl. Coming in your secret bases. Do you want to hand it to me? Is it filming? Yeah, yeah. It's a nice view from up here, isn't it? Yeah, man. Wow. Oh, we did a bit of 
crazy. Let me try and zoom in. Oh, outside the fence, probably. Oh my god, yeah, right. So, right over there, just beyond the... Oh yeah, they're on the outside, I can see. Oh yeah. So they're walking around the outside of the base then. God, that's a bit scary. Thought that they might be in here. <laughs> I know, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I, I've flown over this in my microlite. Because uh, it was the route I used to take to avoid um, RAF Bryce Norton. Oh, yeah. I used to scoot across to Sirencester and then just turn straight north to get up to Birmingham. So I'd come over this place and I'd be like, I wonder what this is. You yeah. know, yeah. Just to fly That's over it. That. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Hello? Oh, yeah, look, it's, it's the oh, ospreys. ospreys, yeah. Oh my god, we've got, got no. ospreys flying over. That's nuts. Yeah, ospreys are cool. American, isn't it? Yeah, they've got their wings have been they're their helicopter wings they are, but they've been turned forwards. Yeah, trying to get. But they spin, spin upwards. They spin upwards into the upright position, and then they. Wow. I can't. I can't really see them on air. They're not fast though, are they? I no. think they struggle because they've got such big, big blades. It's a tabulation machine, yeah. That's a calculator, yeah. yeah. Well, you're in the books, isn't it? Yep, that's the that's the machine that created those numbers in the books. Yeah. Minus four, so besides that, it's typical American, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But they, they couldn't do multiplication, it's just plus and minus, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Too much, too much for the machine's brain. <laughs> God, I love the smell of that, that stuff. It's good. Good isn't it? Yeah. Which one is it again? Uh, Apple. Black rich grape. Gra grape. What? Yeah. Hmm? We found some more stuff. What have you found? Old, um, this is old police and fire service and ambulance stuff. It's got home office written on it. So these would have been like transmitters and you could have plugged in a, a, a headpiece into here. So you can, you can use it like, you know, sort of, um, you can use it sort of against your uh, earpiece like that. And then to transmit, you push the TX down and it's a momentary. So you go like, hello, 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 and let it go. And transmit on that frequency and you've got a volume to listen to the response so yeah but these old 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 these are the old frequencies so these are 80.6 and 81.3875 so it's all the old lower band yeah and i think 82 just above it 82 or something like that now is the fm radio where you get radio 2 and all that this is just slightly below it, so it's, you know, the fire service is just below the start of the FM radio band. And uh, now we're leaving. So let's get down. Get down, get down. Doodly doodly doodly. Stairs. 
great building now. I really like that. We've got all the pictures of um, early fire fighters. <laughs> What's that? Oh. 82. Yeah. What? 0102. It's going back to like really early. Really early stuff. 1993. God, they look they look old school, didn't they? Like, they all look like bloody police officers there. Fire oh. brigade. Jesus. Look much more modern now with their fluorescence with the uh, with the reflectance on them. But back then it was like they just looked like um, army officers or something. Big bird. What is it? Oh, not an eagle, is it? No, yeah, it's one of them. Hawk, eagle. Oops. Compressors. Have you seen all the keys that are in here? No. Oh, loads. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. Gents' toilets. I wonder whether it's serviceable. I wonder if it's got a bit of water in it. A bit of toilet paper. No, it's all turned off. Buggers. No, no toilet. Toilet paper, no water. Sad day for Bum relief. <laughs> Very sad. Locker room. Got lights on. Locker room. Oh no, it's not lights. It's uh, it's just lockers. Yeah, I thought it had lights on, but it's just the yeah. Hmm. Safety helmet. <laughs> no way, there's a door was open the whole time. And we had to climb into that window a minute ago. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, I had a bolt, right, okay. Yeah. Damn it. Supply fan does not work. Whatever supply fan is, why is it home? Oh God! Lunch on. Breather, breather equipment. Wow. Lower tween deck. Yeah, out for microphone, in for music input. That's a, that's a symbol for a microphone. Electronic symbol for a microphone. Yeah. Speech main. Thing operates look it's like telling you 26 is there 11 10 air conditioning start stop these are just solid mm. Jesus Christ 
That made enough of a racket. Firehouse. Firehouse. Whatever. Nobody interesting up here? Okay, we're going back down, Willox. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> can I can I have a chat with you about Jesus? <laughs> Just chilling. Yeah. Maxed out from uh, madness in lifts. And there's a control tower up there, look, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, it's not been up there, should we? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, wow. Why not? It looks like the windows are cleaner from down here. Yeah. Well, you can actually see through them. Yeah. It's the ultimate place for this is like button button <laughs> yeah. it's like he's like cookie monster he's like button <laughs> one button ah 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 two <laughs> buttons ah 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 three buttons and a light switch ah 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 we're going to call him Be a routine car. I thought go up there. See what it is. We need to close that window so they can't get in. Get them shut, mate. Oh, come on, close it then. Just oh, try it. It's, it's wedged open, yeah. Locked open. So. Right, hang on. Fairly respectful to park where we did. I wonder where it went. It's probably doing a circuit of the. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, back, 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 in there, in there, in there, in there, in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you see it? Did you see it? No. Which way did it go? It's good maze. Can't go up. Gotta keep quiet now. Thank you. 
Right. Run straight through. Right. Run straight through. But let's run. Do we, want to, do, do we want to go back into the building? Yeah. We okay. Let's have a look so we can see where he is first. Yeah, because he doesn't. Yeah. I don't think he knows where we are. I don't think he knows where we are. He's just guessing. <laughs> Classic. Classic manoeuvres. I twisted. I twisted my bloody ankle. Then. Stay, 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 stay. See, literally. Are you sure? I can see something with a white stripe on it. Yeah, yeah. it's just the car's there. The car's there. The car's there. I see the piece of like that. That thing. I can't. I just see that. I can't see it. Sure you're not mistaken? No, I swear I saw the car, I swear. Okay, all right, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it, was, Mark, it was the back of the car that was facing here. Right, uh, did, you see, did you see police in the blue, no. the blue bit? Yeah. yeah I, saw the, I saw the yellow and the blue. Ah, yeah, that's all right then. I thought you might have been mistaken with that no, black no, and white no. stripe of that thing on there. I think if we're going to go to the top and look out the windows, can we need to be careful? Well, this is like wide open right now. <laughs> What's his name? What, Mr. 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 Police Mr. Officer. Cool. All right. If it's just one person, I, I think you're on LSD. Two people, I think. All right then. Fair enough. It might just be a routine patrol, but ultimately it means that either he's going to keep driving around because he knows we're here. We're going to get up the top now and we're going to keep looking out for the copper, see if we can work out where he is. vantage point anyway so we will know whether he's out there or not well he might he, maybe that's the way he does his driving he's, he's aggressive so he makes people so think I look, I look around and just see the car like facing all the canoe and I think yeah I just didn't see what I was done he might drive aggressively to make people think that they know they're here. Yeah. But in actual fact, I mean, because at the end of the day, he can drive like a bloody Sweeney sort of, you know, CI5, yeah. Starsky and Hutch type of, you know. Hey, you know Dukes of Hazard, he's got the whole base to himself. He can drive like a lunatic, can't he? You should just wait for him to step out in front of a massive claim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No wind, no fee. Yeah, yeah. No legs. Yeah. <laughs> Infinite cash payment. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not a cop car, um, no. They're smashed up. Oh, so there's someone walking there, look. I think In, it's a kid. Inside? There. No, on the outside. Of the oh, that's alright. Outside's fine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 
you have some window in your phone box. Nay! We've 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 checking your phones in the car then. So yeah, so at this point we decided we had to get out of there pretty quick. So basically there's a countdown now. <laughs> We're looking for the police and uh, there's a lot of swearing going on here, which is why I just basically cut the audio out of it. But um, yeah, here we go. So we're just about to get off down the stairs at high speed. Let's get out. I think we should just go as quickly as we can, get yeah, to the... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shite. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Look up there, it's a Christmas tree. <laughs> no, 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 I just want to see it. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, well, I hope we, we're hoping to distract the police officer. So that was the distraction. Be able to see us when we're in here as well because we'll be hidden, shrouded. We won't be able to see him either. I didn't realize the bank was this high, it didn't look this high from the drone. Here's the back of back of a train. It's gonna be a bummer to get up here. Can you hold the uh, thing for a sec? Right, is that home? I don't think it is. God, it's a bit hard actually. Uh, a bit late. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Make a movie in here. Yeah. 
terrorist. And he doesn't look like a white man. <laughs> I wanted to see what they were like, but it doesn't do anything. They've been doing that? Yeah, look, they've been doing terrorist. Ah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, Yeah, maybe try to shine it from the ceiling. So. Oh yeah, that's cool. Turn it down. Yeah, turn it down. That's right. Like that. Another one. Just nice. Oh, that's not. Um... Yeah. Come beyond the rubber. There's a. St yeah. Oh, a nice one. Watch, there's a big um, thorn bush behind it. Right. Yeah, We're going to get in this one again. We'll have a look at the derailment then, which is going on up there. Jesus! God, they don't make much provision to, for you to get up, do they? This is like proper mangle, mangle central. Going to derail train to watch out. Is it locked? There's a cabin there. That would be the driver's cabin, probably. Cabin, mm -hmm. Can you get into the front cabin? Can you get into the front cabin? Can you get into it? Oh, car yeah. yeah. It's probably on the road alongside. You could actually climb up that, look. But I'm not trusting. Yeah, it must be alright. Look, they've got these metal struts, look. Could you chuck a camera up to us? If you film us, I'll climb up. I'm just going to get my gloves on because I don't want to get my hands dirty on this. That's what you mean by the gimbal, like you can just... It's all steady, isn't it? Makes life a lot easier because you don't have to worry too much about what you're doing. You just point it in the right direction and just start walking. No messing about. Well, that feels weird. Oh, that feels really weird. On, a, on the piss. Wow. 
does, doesn't it? It's like a fairground ride gone wrong. We've got the driver's cab here. The driver's cab. Yeah. How? There's a ladder. Yeah, it's got me big metal struts. Yeah, they're, they're screwed in, they're bolted in. What's that good idea then? Emergency equipment. There's nothing in there. Yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, that should be okay. That should be okay. I mean, I don't think they would let fire brigade climb in and out here if it wasn't. It freaks me out. Yeah, it feels like you're just going over. It feels wrong, doesn't it? Feels like you're on a ship at sea or something. Yeah. It's like, whoa. Managed to, oh Christ. You do, you just fall over when you're walking, you fall. So you cannot sort of you cannot walk properly. It's really bizarre. There was a swift in here a minute ago. And the swift flew along the Oh Jesus, I just fell. I just fell. I just fell. Jesus. I just fell. I I was like talking to myself and I was just like wah! Oh I just God. fell over. Shit. That is well bizarre. That is well weird. Look at this like, you know, the driver, he's got a little bit of wood to lock his door. That's, that's how the driver locks his door. Isn't that really impressive for security? Wow. Can I pass you, um, Camera. Yeah, right. Yeah, do you want to use that? Yeah, do that because I think good photos from here. Sam's got his back. Yeah, sit on the edge. What about from an angle? If, if you come on this, yeah. if you come here, you can get the whole train, yeah. Yeah, that's like derailed, doesn't it? That's cool. Right, put the gloves on. Thank you all. All right. Did you fall over? I did fall over in there, yeah. <laughs> I was walking along and all of a sudden it was just like, oh, I just fell to one side and it was like, there was a swift in, inside the train, a swift bird. And uh, I went up and just nearly It'll touched be it. This camera, wouldn't it, Carl? The yeah. Picture. Should be, yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you want a video whilst I climb up? Yeah. And then, and then just stop the recording and then be able to take pictures of the thing, innit? Yeah. It's alright, just keep it. <laughs> just keep clicking Yeah, it's just uh, natural creeks. I mean, that, that's been steadied for the fire service, so I think it must be safe. <laughs> but it's pretty high, isn't it? Okay, can I stop now? Yeah, you can stop now, yeah. Okay, right. Oh, Matt, do you want to go going back a little bit? Just sure. a little bit, there we go, perfect. Different types of trains. Let's go and have a look. Another one can't wait. Oh, at least you can just walk into this one without messing around. There's steps on the back of this. There's a lorry up there. Let's see if they can start it. I don't think it would have a working battery. That would be too crazy, wouldn't it? Oh, this is good. This is a slightly more modern train. Sexier train. Wow, hot. Whew, the heat hits you when you get in here. Look at all this isolated DVR, dynamic brake isolation. 
Do you realise all these switches and things were here? It's a modern commuter train. So there you go. All the uh, all the furnishings have been taken out of the, the seats though. So it's just the bare seats. Is this the uh, toilet toilet car? Yeah it is, the toilet. <laughs> Ah, it's big to big old toilet, not like the old days. It's got toilet for disabled people, but that's pretty big now. Never used to be though, did it? Oh yeah, more cars. More cars. You can see people right at the end. There's people at the end car. So keep going. And we shall probably find them in a bit. It's a long old uh, train this. I suppose, I suppose they might fill it with smoke. Oh, that was probably me, my reflection. That was probably me then. This must be the driver's car. Driver's car. Oh, no, it was somebody out down here. This is a um, goods compartment, so van heater, brake apply, brake release. So what would this be then? This wouldn't be somewhere where somebody could drive, it's just an emergency, emergency system. But, uh, trolleys and stowing for goods. And then this will be up the uh, the front where the driver goes. So no doubt. Oh look, he's got a little uh, thing. He's got a place to uh, cook his own food and stuff. Look, a little hot hot thing. Who'd have thought they'd have had that? Look, and it's something to so that it, it holds the um, holds the stuff so it doesn't fall out. Who'd have thought they'd have given them something to actually cook their own food whilst they're in here? That's crazy. No. Oh, here we go. Here we go, and he's got a radio as well. He's got an actual stereo radio. But look, there's the speeds, going up to 100, 100 miles an hour, 120 miles an hour. There we go. And there's uh, heating, cab heating, cool, hot. Yeah. And there's some special hidden controls back here. So horns. Horn. Uh huh. So, so I can do that when brake service, brake notch, coast, power on, power on. So it's the side door, it's a little door, very small, very small. So we've not got any cops yet. There they are. So. But that, that's uh, probably the brake. That's probably the brake, which is solid. Here's the, the horn, the horn sound. Uh, uh, and this is soft, soft, high, low, soft, side to side. Wow, okay. And uh, this must be the accelerator. That's the accelerator. Now there's a dead man switch here, and that's it there on the floor. So you have to, he has to keep his foot depressed on that, otherwise the train will come to a stop. So that's the dead man switch. So there we go. Right, I'm trying to climb down that. 
I don't really much idea of where my feet are going, but... Sort of. There we go. Whew. Just climb down from that. It's quite a climb. There's loads of people messing around miles away up there. Look at them. There ain't no more trains. So I think we've had a good uh, little outing today in this uh, fire service training centre. So some sort of like car has been rammed underneath the train. <laughs> it's been rammed underneath the train as the train was moving and it's been rammed in the back by a lorry driven by Connor. Which sounds about right really. That is something that you'd probably do, Connor, I think, isn't it? You'd ram, ram a small car underneath a train. Yeah, that's about right. That's, uh, there you go. So, if you need to know who's responsible, he's there. <laughs> Send the bill to this man. <laughs> Goodness gracious. There's some power in it. That's not a foot brake. Oh, don't pump it right out, it'll roll away. Why are you going to stop it when it rolls away? Handbrake's on, isn't it? No, it's air. That holds by what you're letting out. <laughs> are, are they they're safety brakes, aren't they? They lock on when there's no air. You use air to unlock them. Oh, is it that way around? It's... Yeah, safety. It's just a safety. I was watching a programme about the railways, actually, and guess who created the safety air brake? Ch uh, I think it was Charles or George Westinghouse. Um, so the Westinghouse company. And basically, the first, the first brakes were air brakes, which used to come on. But then they said, but what if they, what if they come on too tight, or what if something happens and the air brake uh, lines break? So he said, well, all right, then I'll make it so that they always come on unless the air is there to make them come off. And that was then the modern safety brake, which is still used to this day. <laughs> Well, anyway, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm uh, going to cut it now, and thanks for joining us. And, uh, well, we've had an interesting night, and uh, we've avoided the uh, security, the police. So, uh, job done. So, catch you in the next one. Definitely don't like, don't subscribe, and uh, don't be, I don't know, um, don't be singing Springtime for Hitler. So... <laughs> <laughs>